Hello friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new and not subscribed, I'm Kayla Bame, and you should really think about subscribing to my channel because the bestest things in the world happen when you do that. So, subscribe. For this week's video, I am continuing on a popular series on my channel, and Caleb Bame Creations is back, y'all. That's right. I am doing another voiceover for one of my mom's DIYs. So, what is it that she says? I'm gonna quit my yapping and let's just jump into it. <laughs> All right, for this DIY, we're making a cute animal plaque. So we picked the owl today. If you don't have an owl in your crafter's corner, just pick the next best animal. Then you're going to need some cloth. We picked orange for this one because we want to be as festive as possible with our DIYs. And then you're going to need to get your bucket of Mod Podge out because you're going to Mod Podge all of its eyes ears, feet, nose. Just sing the song head, shoulders, knees, and toes and you'll figure out where you need to paint the Mod Podge onto this plaque. And then you are going to press the fabric into the plaque. Make sure you press it around the creases. We're going for perfection here so don't be lazy. You need to press it into the creases to make it look as crisp and clean as possible. Now, after you're done patting it down, you're gonna take your paintbrush and put more Mod Podge over the owl. We, we need to seal it up to make sure that fabric isn't going anywhere. So just put a whole bunch of Mod Podge in the creases and I can guarantee you that fabric is going to be staying in place. And for a pro tip, if you can bust out your scalpel like you are a surgeon, you can just really get into the creases like that. As you can see, like I said earlier, we settle for nothing less than perfection, so this step is not optional. You have to do it like this. Now, if you've been singing your song, the next section that we need to cover with Mod Podge is his uh, shoulders, knees, and toes. So go ahead and do that. You really want to make sure you get good coverage here. We need to make sure this fabric stays on and uh, this Mod Podge is going to do the trick if you put enough on. See how many coats I'm putting on there? You really need good coverage here. Now you're going to cover this owl up like it's he needs a blanket because he's cold and we just put Mod Podge on him so go ahead and get your fabric out and cover him up. Okay guys? For this step you don't really need to be perfect yet. As you can see, I'm just kind of snipping away there just to get a general idea of how much blanket this owl needs. Now go ahead and seal them up again. You need to put this Mod Podge on here, otherwise this owl, that fabric is going to be flying all over the place and you're going to think this owl has come to life. So make sure you Mod Podge it up and seal him up so he's nice and secure in his blanket. Now remember earlier when I said we didn't need to be perfect yet? Now it's time to get out your perfection blade because we're gonna make sure that fabric fits nice and neat around the owl's toes. You gotta be extra careful here guys. Make sure you get right into the crease there where his toe is. We don't want any excess fabric around his feet because if he did have fabric there it would look like he was a duck instead of an owl. Now if you go onto the front we covered his whole face with fabric. We can't have that. That's not what we want. We want his nose nice and clear so you're gonna have to take again your perfection cutter here and slice the fabric off of his nose and eyes because we got something special planned for those later, but we can't do that if the fabric's covering it. Now for all you paint lovers, this is gonna be the time of your life. We're busting the paint out. Now, if you don't know how to mix paint like me, all you gotta do is go back to the store and buy a color brown that is as close to this brown as possible. 
because I can't mix paint, so I'm just gonna buy the darkest brown I can find instead of mixing colors together. But if you're a master paint mixer like my mom, go ahead and do this. See, look at how she swirls it around. What a great paint mixer. Now obviously an owl's claws are not orange plaid, so you're gonna cover that with the dark brown paint to make it as realistic as possible. And it's okay if the paint looks a little chunky on his claws and stuff because that's kind of what we're going for here. Farmhouse isn't perfect strokes, it's messy, it's chunky, and it looks pretty much like this owl. And you gotta make sure you get the edges of his claws and his wings because you don't want any of that wood showing around the edges. That's just gonna look weird. This DIY is called the Perfection DIY. You need to get all the corners and edges because it has to be perfect. And then after you're done with his wings and paws, you're gonna cover his pupils and his nose. Be extra careful, you don't wanna get this paint on top of your fabric because that's gonna be a really difficult mess to clean up, you know what I mean? And now we wanna add some shine to his eyes. So you're gonna put some gold in there to make it seem like his eyes are just glowing. We don't want a dark soulless owl, we want an owl that's friendly and has nice golden brown eyes. And I guess maybe this dark brown may have been too dark for us because we went back and added gold to all the other items that we just painted. I think that this step may be able to be skipped if you add the gold in while you're mixing the paint, but that's okay. We were just doing this as we go and it looks great and you're adding more texture to it this way. So if you do it our way, I'm sure it'll turn out great just like ours did. And if you thought we were done with the paint mixing, we're not. Bust out some of your cream colored and put more gold in there. We're gonna get a nice dark beige. And then you're gonna paint around the outside of his eyes. Give him a nice little white rim to his golden brown eyes. And while we're painting this, we're still going for perfection, but we're going into the perfection messy area. We really want to give it more texture because it would just be boring if you painted it like a normal person with nice clean strokes. You got to add those nice brush strokes there. It's really good. Oh my gosh, look at that technique there, the dabbing. It's great. And he's looking pretty great if I do say so myself, but something's missing. Ah, yes. We need to outline his nose and eyes and his wings with the golden puffy paint. We're giving him a finished look right now. We don't want it to look like a mess that we just painted. We want it to look like a nice, clean, put-together, DIY, harvest, Dollar Tree owl plaque. You know what I'm saying? And KB Creations strikes again. We got ourselves a harvest owl here that you can put just about anywhere. Hang this bad boy up. Put him outside as a scarecrow. I don't care. He looks great. Put him wherever you want. Whoa. All right. My hair's a mess. Beanie on? Beanie off. Beanie off, maybe? Oh my goodness gracious. See, this is why I wear a beanie. Alright, the beanie is staying off for the remainder of this video. But anyway, that's it for this week's video. I have so much fun doing these voiceovers, and you guys seem to enjoy them as well. So... It's the best of both worlds, am I right? But if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave in the comments down below what you thought of this video and if I should continue this series because we all have a great time when I continue this series, right? Just let me know. But 
I'll see you guys back here next week. Peace.